Hey everybody, welcome back. This week I'm going to give my coronavirus predictions. A wise man once said, never even try to predict the future unless you want to look like an idiot. Well, I'm okay with looking like an idiot, so here are my predictions about the coronavirus. Well, maybe not the disease so much, but the cultural, uh, social fallout from the disease. And I think this will be helpful because it'll shed some insight on the nature of a crisis and what it really does to us. My first prediction is there's going to be more surveillance. We're going to be more comfortable with the surveillance. There's an app being developed now, several, that are going to track your location and see if you come in contact with anybody who has been infected with a certain virus or a disease. Not the coronavirus. This is going to be f used for a future pandemic. Sorry if I sound a little bit paranoid when I think, mm, maybe this kind of technology could be used in perhaps a nefarious way. Another prediction is there's going to be more regulation, and again, like with surveillance, we're simply going to become more comfortable with the regulation. It's going to be a more accepted part of our life. There's tons of stories of sight for this, but the one happening this week is uh, the Michigan governor banning people going from one residence to another. I just found out in the county where I live, I cannot travel more than five miles from my house. My wife and I went on a hike this past week, and we had to drive more than five miles to get there. Don't tell anybody we could get a fine. And the third prediction is just more economic shutdown. Not maybe a recession overall or, or depression, but just less activity, right? What is an economy from a psychological perspective? It's just people leaving their house, doing things for each other. Well, I think there's going to be generally less of that. I think I'm able to make these predictions uh, with some amount of confidence, not because I'm clairvoyant or anything, but... Look, I just look at what America has been doing the past 40, 50 years, and I know the nature of a crisis, and I think we're simply going to be doing more of what we've already been doing. We think that a crisis changes us. It doesn't change us. It simply reveals who we are. It reveals what we've already been doing. If we were going in a negative direction before the crisis, we're just going to accelerate that process. If we're going in a maybe more positive direction, the crisis is going to accelerate that process as well. So I think this is great. I mean, look, this isn't a, a cultural, political channel. We just deal with your psychology. So I think this sheds great insight into what's going on in our own psychology. As the result of this pandemic, is there more psychological surveillance, which would be anxiety? Is there more regulation, more self-consciousness, more behavior inhibition? Ooh, don't do that. Don't say that. And as a result of this, is there going to be more economic shutdown personally? The, yeah, the psychological equivalent of economic shutdown is uh, depression. How does a recession turn into oppression? Well, how does sadness turn into depression? It's the same thing. You start off at a zero, sadness feels like a negative one or negative two, but you stay at a negative one, negative two. You stay at that sadness for a long enough period of time. It just feels like the new normal. That's the depression. Thankfully, I think there's a way out of this. There's a way, way to deal with the crisis personally, and I think a great way to look at this, like we've been doing, is to look at what countries have been doing. There have been countries who've responded well to this pandemic. Singapore, South Korea, Germany, there's been a few others, but they all do the same thing. Well, the first thing they do, awareness, testing. They test as many people as possible, and they find people who are infected. They go right to them, not through some kind of Orwellian app, but they go right to the person. They ask them, okay, who have you contacted? They take those people, test them, quarantine people who need to be quarantined, all without shutting down the economy or doing anything too egregious or creating some state that may be less than productive in the future. Now we can do this maybe a little bit more readily with a virus because there's germ theory. So we know specifically what to do. We know how germs, we know how viruses go from one person to another. We understand the mechanism behind that. The problem with psychology is there's really no theory for how psychology works. Well, you know what I'm going to say. Until now, this is exactly what we do here at Animus Empire. We have the germ theory, in a sense, of psychology. So we know how to create awareness, what exactly to be aware of, how to test how aware you are. We have great tools for this. And using that information, we know exactly what you need to talk about and exactly how to talk about it, no matter the situation. So you can become 
more aware of yourself, you can use this crisis to not continue in the negative direction if you were going in that direction, but you can use this crisis, right? It's just a revealer. So if it's revealing something about you, what is it? We got to be aware of that and know how to talk about it exactly, know how to process these issues exactly. So you can, again, use this crisis to go in a better direction. That's exactly what we do here at Animus Empire, animusempire.com slash schedule. We do free 30 minute consultations. Um, I'll see if I can help you. And if I can't help you, I will point you in a direction that would be more helpful for you. It's going to be win-win and I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And always remember that when you are faced with a crisis, it's probably better to be uh, more like South Korea and less like America.